Hi, my name is Mike, and today I'm going to be adding a speed controller to this Radio Shack cassette recorder. Uh, to do that, I'm going to be using this PWM circuit, which stands for Pulse Width Modulation. I bought this on Amazon for, I think, literally a few dollars. I've used these before, different types. Um, so basically this has a, a power in and a motor out and then adjustable. So I will wire that in line with the battery. I'm going to have to do a little modification to the battery. And let's, okay, I'll show you how, how all that works. Okay, so the battery right here. And that little the hole is actually an adjustment. There's actually a little trim pot that you can reach through with a small screwdriver and turn a little pot in there to adjust motor speed. But with this circuit, the pulse, pulse width modulation circuit, we can bypass that internal trimmer um, and wire our power directly to the motor underneath this cap and uh, get a much higher range, much lower and much faster than we'd be able to get by just adjusting this. So well, to do that, we have to pry Once I've done a little bit, there we go. That can pop off. So we're really going to get rid of this whole circuit board right here. This is the little speed controller. Just got some of this copper solder wick. I think it's probably these two bib and blobs right there. That circuit is, we're basically replacing that with this. And then we're going to just solder onto those two tabs. Those were those two tabs we desoldered. We'll solder the output, the motor output right here, will go to there, and the power in will go to there. Really simple. Um, I probably am going to desolder. The pot so I can place the board down here and then mount the pot probably up there maybe right here one there or there wherever works out there with the knob okay
Okay, it took me a little while to figure out what was going on, and I had the battery wired backwards. Even though I looked at the the little voltage controller, the uh, original built-in one, I st somehow wired it backwards, and the uh, motor was running backwards, which was constantly eating the tape. So once I got that figured out, here's a test. There we go. One thing I forgot to mention was that the original pot is a switching pot, has a switch built into it that was meant for power, but my power is being supplied by the unit, so it'll turn it on and off with play. Um, so I just put a little jumper in there. That's the red jumper right there where the switch normally, it's just so I don't have to run those out. Um. Uh.